my question for you, Arn, is when you first came over to WWE, you had your little stint with Flair where you got your big WrestleMania moment with the spine buster to the Undertaker, which was amazing because I did not see that coming. So that's one of those greatest moments. It's like, oh, Arn, there he is with the spine buster. After that, you know, you were more backstage. Was there any other opportunities presented to you to maybe be more of an on-screen character, maybe a manager to somebody or doing something else besides just doing your backstage stuff after that? Or or was you not interested in that? Well, to be honest with you, and uh, most people don't know this, but I was not cleared to do anything physical with my neck Mm -hmm. in WCW. Uh, They, the doctor... My doctor that did the surgery just said, hey, look, you know, I tried to get him to release me. And he said, as long as I'm your doctor, you will never wrestle again. There's just your neck won't handle it. You know, you cannot handle it. You don't have the tools anymore. So when I did that deal with The Undertaker, I still had not been cleared. Uh, So we got away with one and it was my WrestleMania moment. I was so honored and thrilled to be in that in that situation and it worked out well. And it was one of those things that you can kind of hang your hat on, but uh, to be honest with you, it was not a consideration because your, your body tells you, and it wasn't just the doctor telling me, AJ, when mm-hmm. your body, when your body says you're done, when a little bitty guy, 140 pounds kind of smacks you on the back and says, how you doing? And it sends a shock down your body getting suplexed and slammed and all that's out of the question. So, you know, unless you're an idiot, you better listen to your body. <laughs> I think that's some great advice for all of us, no matter the age, listen to your body. Um, but I really appreciate it. I'm glad you got your WrestleMania on it, Arm. But there was, there was no opportunities like like you do now with AEW and Cody kind of coming up being a coach. There was never an opportunity presented to you like that from somebody be like, hey, why don't you come out there and be like the voice for this young guy or anything like that in WWE? Was that never offered? No, sir. It was not. Um, it was one of those situations that, that I might have been thrilled to do it had it came up, but um, the position they had for me was what I was doing, and they, to be honest with you, there was never a time other than just some some goofy backstage stuff. You know, we did some shock, a little shock master bit, and then I did something with uh, Ascension and, and – uh, those guys, the other guys, I can count them out um, backstage, but it was just, you know, comedy parts, nothing with any teeth in it. So who knows? Never presented itself. So I never got a chance to evaluate it one way or the other. Oh, I think it would have been great if you got the opportunity, Arm. But uh, just thank you for taking the time to speak with us this afternoon. I really appreciate it. And I uh, can't wait to see what's next for Arn on the Arn episodes. I'm looking forward to more history. Please do, and uh, please uh, keep watching the show, and let let me think. You know, let me know what you think about the kid. He's a uh, he's good he's good kid, and I think he's got a lot to offer the business. And uh, we'll see how he develops. Okay. All right. Thank you, Arn. Thank you.